Hi, my name is Reed Timmy. I first attended a Valley service 20 years ago while in high school. And since moving back to the area last year with my wife and kids, I've had the pleasure of being a part of this wonderful Christ Center community once again. My experiences with Valley 20 years ago and today, with a whole bunch of life experiences in between, have taught me how impactful God's people can be when they are faithful ambassadors of Jesus and surrender to Him, allowing God to shape their every word, thought, and action. You see, my journey with Jesus began during my high school years when I noticed distinct differences in the behavior of some of my peers. Curiosity drew me closer to these friends, and before long, I came to understand that they were Christians and attended Valley. It was in these pews that I first heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, and every Sunday I would return, eager to learn and understand more. This was the seed of truth that ultimately led me to surrender my life to Christ in college. While throughout high school I began to grow comfortable with the idea that Jesus came to save us from the penalty of sin, I had not made the conscious decision to live for Christ. That is, to repent for my sin and follow His desires and not my own. I went to West Point, and by God's grace I was placed in a company with six strong followers of Jesus, with whom I would spend almost every day for four years living alongside. I'll never forget the day that my West Point roommate lovingly confronted me on this hypocritical behavior, and he quoted the words of Jesus in Luke 6, 46. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? This was a real fight or flight moment for me. Would I choose to flee God, to keep on living this double life that tore me up inside, or would I choose to stay and fight it out, to truly wrestle with what it means to surrender to Christ, and do the harder right over the easier wrong? By God's grace, I chose to figure out what it meant to surrender my life to Jesus, to acknowledge Him as both Lord and Savior. Instantly, I felt the Holy Spirit bring a sense of peace and understanding, even as I began to confront my sinful behavior and seek forgiveness and transformation. One of the most challenging moments of my life occurred just a few months before our move here, when my wife and I experienced the devastating loss of our daughter in the second trimester. The pain and grief seemed unbearable, yet it was during this darkest hour that I truly felt the presence of God, comforting and guiding us through our sorrow. He really showed up for us, and He was the one who sustained us through our grief. I can tell you with certainty that had my wife and I not been committed to following Jesus, we would not even begin to know how to walk through that foggy season of life together. I stand here today as a testament to God's unwavering faithfulness and the impact that people can have by surrendering to Him. My friends in high school and at West Point who invested in my spiritual health and helped walk alongside me and point the way to Jesus, they had surrendered to Him and were living out their faith. If I have learned anything from walking with Jesus over the past 20 years, it's that your Sunday best isn't enough. God doesn't just want your attention for an hour on a Sunday morning. He wants all of you for all time.